Uh, if you could call me back ASAP, uh, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. It's the pawn shop, man. What do you say? <sighs> oh, I just, just left him a message. Oh, will you keep on it, in Peter? Well, look, whether he has the watch or not, there's still the elephant in the room. What elephant? Meaning what? Meaning I don't have 20 grand to buy it back. 20 grand? Since when? Well, because he's got to make a profit as well. Oh. Listen, we'll, we'll cross that as when we come to it. No, 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 hang on. You Peter, we to... have to get that watch back. It's the least that Lou deserves. But it's not your problem. It's OK. Well, it kind of is. You kind of made it my problem, really. I mean, so... We'll give up when I say we give up. Okay, see you later. Yes, it's no trouble at all. In fact, it'll be my pleasure. Yes, I'll let Stephen know. <laughs> all right, bye. Let me know what? Well, that there's been a change of plan. I know you had a meeting with Lou today, but she's coming here to the office about 12-ish. OK. I just think she wants to see how we do things first and, like, you know, get a few pointers, pick my brains. Well, what's left of them. Mm. It's be hard inheriting a business like that. We only must have a steep learning curve, eh? Nah, I'm sure. Lose up to the task. Yeah. Well, let's hope so, for all our sakes. Anyway, I'll be sitting in. Is that all right? Yeah, sure, fine. Uh, saves me a journey, plus uh, she can learn a great deal from you, Carla. Ah, oh, thank you. Nice coming from you. you want a coffee? Oh, I love one. His gold watch is still missing. It's not my imagination. No, of course not. Um, so... In terms of day-to-day -day operations, I would say don't sweat the small stuff. I'm sorry. It really winds me up. And then there's that typing. I've told the police, Rufus never wore the stupid things. And even if he did, he wouldn't be daft enough to wear one engraved with all my love, G. That'd be like painting a bullseye on his head. Well, it, it must be very frustrating. <sighs> That's putting it mildly. Anyway... I've basically threatened and nagged them into at least taking another look at the damn thing. Do you want to rearrange the session? No, the detective's going to let me know when she can see me. It's going to be much later on. Also, Jules is out with his uncle for the rest of the day, so this is perfect. OK, so where do you want to begin? Wherever you like. You're in charge. Well, not technically at the moment, am I? But uh, let's start on the shop floor, cos that's the heartbeat of any factory. I've also organised us some lunch. Oh, smashing. Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> Got a feeling I'm going to need to take some notes. Yeah. <laughs> right, you coming? Uh, you know, I just realised I've got another meeting. Oh. Yeah, well, let's face it, I'm a, I'm a third wheel anyway. Uh, come on. Round to the left. You paid me, uh, you paid me 15 grand for it. It's a solid gold watch, 18 carat. I came in on the, uh, I came in on the 27th of February. Yeah. You've sold it, okay. Well, listen, thanks, thanks for checking. Um, I knew it would be a long shot. Right. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah, fine. Well, why wouldn't it be? You seem a little stressed. No, oh, no, it's Carla in. Um, she's, she's not answering the phone. Uh, yeah, she's in a meeting with uh, Lou Donahue. Right. It's funny, I, I couldn't help uh, overhearing your, your, your conversation. And, uh, well, to talk about a coincidence, uh, her late husband also had a solid gold watch which went missing. Yeah, I, I think I remember Lou mentioning that. Yeah, small world. Yeah. Uh, but you wouldn't want to paint it. <laughs> 27th of February, and I, I swear I recall you popping into the factory around that time asking for Rufus's phone number, something about a, a, a mystery job offer. Did I? Huh? You've got a better memory than me. And if it serves me right, I think you decided against contacting it. So I'm guessing you know what happened to the watch. Yeah. Look, um, I suppose you're going to find out anyway. Yeah, I know. 
because I took it. He dropped it in the back of my car, but instead of handing it in like I should have, I, I sold it for 15 grand. Well, an opportunity not. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not proud of what I did. There's no justification for it. Oh, I don't know, I just feel... They all make bad calls. It's how you correct them that really matters. Well, I don't think Lou's gonna be so understanding. Anyway, that watch is long gone, so I suppose I'd better go face the music. What? Now? No time like the present. Ah, maybe let her finish up with Carla before breaking the bad news. There's no, there's no rush, after all. You, you know, I, I thought you'd be more, I don't know, judgmental. Well, let he who is without sin cast the first stone and, and all that. Yeah, well, even so, I, I appreciate it. Well, listen, I, I really gotta go. Yeah. This is one well-oiled machine. Oh, well, I think you caused some a good day. I don't believe that for one minute. <laughs> I really enjoyed today. Yeah, me too. You're a great teacher. Really calm and patient. Oh, stop it. You'll be giving me a big head. I really appreciate you sparing me your precious time. Oh, you're joking, aren't you? You've done me a favour. How do you mean? Oh, I don't know. Can I be honest with you? Fire away. I think it's been ages since I've felt properly useful, you know? Been there. Now, can I be honest with you? Yeah, fill your boots. You were made to do this. <laughs> Why would you want to sell up and just walk away from it all? I don't know, maybe I do need a change. Change is overrated. This is where you belong. Anything else is just a waste of your time. Mm. You know what? I actually think you're Bob on there. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs>